home is where the heart is. It's a phrase mentioned often. And now it can be tied to free agent LeBron James. Does he stay in his hometown or does he head west to the bright lights of L.A.? Our Leon Bibb joins us now with a perspective. And Leon, we know LeBron loves him some Akron, loves him some Northeast Ohio, but is that enough to make him stay right here? We will see which way this ball bounces. And you know the ball can bounce that way or uh -huh. bounce this way. This is what I've got to say. First of all, let me say with emphasis what I know to be certain, at least as far as today. LBJ wants to be in Cleveland. LBJ was re raised in Northeast Ohio and for years made his living in Cleveland, earning recognition. But before I go any further with my LBJ thoughts, let me say the LBJ of which I speak is Leon Bibb Jr., yours truly. But enough about me and plans to stay in Cleveland, at least so far. Let me speak of the other LBJ. LeBron James. He too is in the news business, not as a journalist as I am, but as the center of the news. Newsman's question, will he stay or will he go? Certainly here at News 5, our sports team people will have more details on what LeBron might be thinking, but I think LeBron ought to stay. He is one of us, having grown up in Northeast Ohio. He was the kid from Akron who leaped onto the national scene while still in high school. When it came time to getting him, the Cleveland Cavs jumped at the chance and the ball bounced our way. For years, Cleveland's ball has bounced quite nicely. The dollar counting people in downtown Cleveland say LeBron is worth $300 million in the local economy. Without him in Cleveland, restaurants, hotels, bars, and other businesses in downtown area might not have it so well. He ought to be able to get a free Pepsi Cola wherever he goes, or does he do the Sprite commercials? And anyway, I'm hoping LeBron will stay. I talked to my good friend the other day, the guy I call the old philosopher. As usual, he had bellied up to the bar, drinking his usual iced tea with a splash of lemon. The old philosopher chimes in, You know, Leon, I ain't a gonna beg LeBron to stay, although I'm hoping he will stay. Well, I nod in agreement. He orders another iced tea with lemon. Then the old philosopher adds, I agree with Shaquille and Barkley when they told him, Don't go chasing championship rings. Well, maybe it's something else LeBron is chasing or says he is chasing, or we think he might be chasing. Maybe it's Los Angeles and all that Hollywood glitter. But I'm kind of leaning to the fact LeBron James is an Akron man. I kind of think his heart is really here and that he really realized that when he went to show his talents in Miami a, a few years ago. After a time in Miami when there came the possibility LeBron might come back to Cleveland, a friend of mine who knows LeBron well, has studied him and been with him many times told me, He's coming back home, Leon. This friend of LeBron told me during LeBron's Miami time that the secret to LeBron was Akron. My friend who was close to LeBron told me to take it to the bank that LeBron is really an Akron man and that is where his heart is. LeBron came back to Akron and Cleveland and Northeast Ohio. That was from a few years ago. You know, I'm hoping that that is the case again. I'm not going to beg, as did a bunch of people who made years ago made that crazy video of singing to LeBron and begging him to not leave Cleveland. I don't want to beg for anything. Mr. LeBron James will do what he wants and what is best for him. Still, I want LeBron to finish out his career where it began, Cleveland and Akron. I think back to that Salvation Army gymnasium on the west end of Akron where LeBron, at the age of 10, met his first coach, Drew Joyce. Drew would later become his high school coach. But LeBron was 10 when he played his first organized ball in the small Salvation Army gym, which had room for only a court and no room for spectators. I've been in that gym and talked with coach Drew Joyce about the kid he saw develop into the best player on the planet. I'm hoping LeBron will think about his beginnings in that little Salvation Army gym in Akron and think about St. Vincent St. Mary High School in Akron and think about the Q in Cleveland. But if he does decide to move on, well, we will cross that bridge when we come to it. He promised a Cleveland championship and delivered in 2016 and led us to the finals twice more after that. His history and his legacy are set. I'm Leon Bibb Jr., LBJ. I don't know what the other LBJ is going to do. 
I really don't.